My name is Dermot Baird from J.S. Baird & Sons Scotston Farm. I'm a partner in the business with my other two brothers and my father. We have a mixed arable farm with chickens, organic hens, cattle and sheep. When I started to research Biomass CHP, I started in a completely uh, different vein through looking at pyrolysis oil to make biofuel for my tractors. It turned out this technology is not readily available, but in doing that research I found out that Biomass CHP and gasification is something that was ready to purchase. We have, a, like every farm, an electricity bill that we need to deal with and although we have a wind turbine, uh, we were not allowed to use any of the power from it, it all had to get exported, so I still had an electricity bill even though I had a wind turbine. So I decided that generating our own electricity would be very handy from a very simple point of view, but also at the same time generating extra heat was handy to supply our broiler shed and our grain drying floor. Uh, the, we, we use a local supplier to provide us with timber which is chipped on site um, into the shed here as wet chip and then I carry it around using the forklift bucket to dry it out on the drying floor. The timber is sourced locally, usually around the Angus Glens which is within a 10 mile radius of the farm. The spanner unit fits very nicely underneath 50 kilowatts which is part of the grid restriction. If you go over 50 kilowatts things get a lot more complicated so from an electricity point of view that fitted in very nicely and the other thing about the spanner unit is it generates 100 kilowatts of heat and that is exactly the amount of heat that I need in my broiler shed. The heat initially goes into my large buffer tank and from there it can go either to my broiler shed or to my grain drying floor. I can dry 500 tonne of grain during harvest and then when I'm not drying grain I dry wood chip. My biomass CHP produces enough electricity to supply first of all the grain drying fans, then second of all my chicken shed and finally the rest of the farm. What's left is exported onto the grid. Well first and foremost my electricity bill has completely disappeared. Um, secondly it allows me to operate my broiler shed in optimal conditions including winter time and thirdly I can now dry grain with virtually no extra cost with fossil fuels. I am satisfied with Spanner's Biomass CHP. It, uh, it takes a while to get to understand it but once you do, once you figure out how to operate it, it works very reliably and I have recommended it to a number of people.